Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia, and today I'm going to be doing the Nope Trope book tag. I have seen this tag floating around YouTube. I wasn't tagged, but I feel like we're past that point in YouTube now where you have to like actually tag a person to do a tag. And if that's the case for you, I tag all of you. This tag was created by Zoe Zoblucht on YouTube. Let's get on with the questions. The first question is eavesdropping slash miscommunication. Two very hard words to pronounce. This is name a book that you heard really great things about but didn't end up enjoying. This is a book that I don't actually own and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I don't have a lot to say about this book. I have really high expectations because it's like a beloved book from the community and I was ultimately just super super bored and I was just not having a good time listening to this super long book. I just didn't understand the hype. <laughs> Moving along, question number two is love triangles. Name a series you can't pick your favorite book. I went with a pretty obvious one here. I feel like a lot of people are going to say this and that is Clockwork Angel or the Infernal Devices series. This is just the first book I'm holding up. All of these books are so good. This is a trilogy. Oh my goodness gracious. I love all of the characters in these books. I love all of the books. I cannot pick a favorite. I, every time I look at a Shadowhunter book, I'm like, I'm going to reread you like right now and I think I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Next up is not like other girls slash didn't know I'm beautiful. I love this trope. It's so funny. And it's name a book that has a pretty cover but was really boring. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. I really like this cover. I mean say what you want. A lot of people don't like photo covers but these just look so nice with my other Jen Bennett books that I have over here. I expected to really like this book just because I love Jen Bennett. I've read quite a few of her books and have been really pleasantly surprised about them but this one just was so formulaic and I didn't like the love interest. I predicted all the twists and it just wasn't that fun or realistic. Yeah I believe this was one of her first books so I am hoping that the next books aren't gonna be like this. Yeah this one superbly let me down and it's such a cute book. Anyways, a nice little side note here. If you guys want to buy this book or any of the other books that I'm selling used, of course, in superb condition, make sure to check out my Depop, which is always linked down below. Question number four is all consuming love. Name a book that gave you a book hangover. I don't know why I had a really hard time reading that, but for that I'm going with Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. G Willikers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that on camera and I literally hated it. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh my goodness, I love these books so much. Like these were such a good book hangover. Well like to me a book hangover is like you finish a book and like you can't really move past it for a hot sec and that is what these books were. I also have the second volume which I read. Fucking love these books. Like immediately after reading them I wanted to reread them and I feel like that to me is like a book hangover. Didn't want to read anything else. Just wanted to think about it. I had to get- I had to like move past it to get to new books but I still think about it all the time. And then I think the last question is, oh my gosh, is the douchebag boyfriend trope. This one is name a book that took a while to get into but you ended up loving. For that I'm going with The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I feel like I have not mentioned this book in a hot sec but she deserves all of her glory. This is a big book. <laughs> So I was genuinely intimidated and it definitely took me months to read. I read this whole thing. I really did and I really really loved it. I got so much out of it. It was so not only beautifully written but the story was so complex and all of the characters are morally gray. I just love it and the metaphors in here and the symbolism. Oh it's a, it's literally an English major's dream and I thoroughly thoroughly love this. So the next questions are your favorites and your least favorite tropes and books. So for my least favorites because I want to finish with <laughs> something positive I'm actually gonna hold up with a book I held up earlier in this video and that is Clockwork Angel because I hate love triangles. I hate them. It's so stupid. Everyone ends up getting hurt and it's just not a good idea. Like you can't love someone the same amount. Like I, do I just don't understand it. It makes me just so pissed off. Anyways, I hate love triangles. I hate them in most everything. They piss me off. So I have a lot of favorite uh, tropes. This is just one that I just was the first one I thought about um, and that's in romance and that is best friends to lovers I'm holding up star guys my favorite book of last year one of my favorite books of last year she's very special to me I love best friends to lovers I love when people are already friends and they end up becoming more and that's I don't like the word lovers I think it's really fucking weird but it is my favorite trope I do also love the not like other girls trope if it's used like correctly I just love the like quirky main character trope as well which this also has that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to uh check out the original tag and uh tag yourself do it if you want to if you don't want to film a video just let me know in the comments down below what your answer is yeah, but that's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the things. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!